Oh, try focusing the camera. Did I say that right? <laughs> Hi there, this is Gion and welcome to Zach's Zen Vlogs. For today's episode, we're going to give you a new content, something informative and educational. As a Filipino, I have decided to do something to educate Filipino people, especially those who will find this video helpful. In this video, we're going to discuss 20 commonly mispronounced English words among Filipinos. And by the way, I'm not claiming myself as an expert in pronunciation or in the English language. What I'm about to discuss are just the things that are based on what I've learned and what I've studied. So without further ado, let's have the first commonly mispronounced English word among Filipinos. First is this one. Obviously, before knowing how to correctly pronounce the other commonly mispronounced English words among Filipinos, we need to know how to correctly pronounce this word. As you can see in the IPA, you can pronounce this as pronunciation. Many Filipinos pronounce this as pronunciation, but it's not. It's pronunciation. But if you cannot read the IPA or the International Phonetic Alphabet, you can choose to syllabicate this word your own. As you can see, it's a simpler one, not IPA. Still, you can read this as pronunciation. Now let's read the sentence together. At last, I already know the correct pronunciation of the word pronunciation. Second, many of us tend to pronounce this word as appreciation. The correct pronunciation of this word is pretty similar to the word we discussed earlier. Appreciation. Appreciation. Appreciation, appreciation, not appreciation. Now let's try reading this sentence. Susan began to clap in appreciation of Thomas's performance. Number three, we have this word. Oftentimes we hear many people say, refer, please refer this to, please refer that to. But that's not where you put the stress on. You see, in the IPA, the stress is located on the second syllable, not on the first one. So this should be read as refer, not refer. Now let's try reading the sentence. He refers to me as his friend. Again, refer, not refer. Now, most two-syllable verbs have their stress on the second syllable just like the verbs record, address, perfect, and many more. But this doesn't apply to all the words or all the two-syllable verbs because there are always exceptions. Just like this word on the screen, many of us read this as govern, but we should not put the stress on the second syllable, but rather on the first one. So this becomes govern. Number four. Just like what we discussed earlier, this belongs to two-syllable verbs where you put the stress on the second syllable. This is a verb, not a noun. But if it's a noun, we say record. The stress is on the first syllable. But now it's a verb, we say record. Now let's try reading the sentence together. She records the scores of her students. She records the scores of her students. Number five, this is not gymnasium. Let's see each other at the gymnasium. We don't say that. We say gymnasium. 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 Let's read the sentence together. There's a program going on at the gymnasium. There's a program going on at the gymnasium. Number six, we don't say surface but instead we say surface surface now read the sentence the floor has a shiny surface the floor has a shiny surface number seven so this is not southern like you say i live in the southern part of whatever that place is 
So we say Southern. Instead of Southern, we say Southern. S and THER. Just like in the sentence. Stephen lives in the southern part of the Philippines. Stephen lives in the southern part of the Philippines. And number eight. Again, many of us pronounce this word as administration. Administration. So instead of pronouncing that way, we say administration. Administration. The stress is on the fourth syllable. Administration. Just like in the sentence. He thinks that the present administration is corrupt. He thinks that the present administration is corrupt. Number nine. So some people say, I will bury you alive. So we don't say it that way. So instead we say, bury. Yeah, do you want to bury someone alive? I hope you'll not do that. Okay, try reading this. Their ancestors are buried in the local cemetery. Number 10, we don't say entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, we don't say that. As you can see in the IPA or the syllabication, it's entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, just like in the sentence. Self-employment and entrepreneurship in micro-enterprises are becoming a viable option. Self-employment and entrepreneurship in micro-enterprises are becoming a viable option. Number 11. Oh, this is a very classic one. I don't know why people say excited. Maybe because they just want to emphasize the word egg to make it sound cool. But hey, this is how you pronounce this word. Excited. This is without G, without egg. So excited. Just like in the sentence. He is so excited to go swimming. He is so excited to go swimming. Number 12. We don't say country. So it's country. 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 The Philippines is a beautiful country. The Philippines is a beautiful country. Number 13. One of the classic ones as well. So we don't say cleanliness. We don't read the word clean in here just because we see this word. So we say cleanliness. Instead of cleanliness, we say cleanliness. Just like breakfast. We don't say break just because we see the word break. So it's breakfast. Cleanliness. Just like in this saying, if I'm not mistaken, cleanliness is next to godliness. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Number 14. So we don't say comfortable. Comfortable. But instead we say comfortable. Comfortable. But if you plan on syllabicating everything, it's okay. It's okay. You say comfortable. As long as the stress is on the first syllable, it's okay to syllabicate everything. So we don't say comfortable. The stress is not on the second syllable, it's on the first one. So we say comfortable, just like in the sentence. I made myself comfortable on the sofa. Or I made myself comfortable on the sofa. Number 15, we don't say adolescent. We don't say that. We say adolescent, adolescent. Tony's adolescent years were some of the best of his life. Tony's adolescent years were some of the best of his life. Number 16. Many of us say communication. So we put the stress on the second syllable. But it's not the way we pronounce that word. So we say communication. Better communication is a huge step towards peace. Better communication is a huge step towards peace. Number 17, is it gross income, gross justice, gross negligence? What is it? Well, all of them are incorrectly pronounced. So instead of pronouncing that word as gross, we say gross, gross. 
the contributions deducted from your paycheck are taken out from your gross income. Number 18. Oh, try focusing the camera. Did I say that right? See, it's not focus, guys. It's focus. Focus. He easily loses his focus when he gets excited. Number 19. This is not mango. This is mango. Many kids say mango. Jerry's favorite drink is mango shake. Jerry's favorite drink is mango shake. Number 20. This is not courteous. This is courteous. Or if you're not comfortable reading or pronouncing this word as courteous, you can pronounce this as courteous. So it's either courteous or courteous. He gave her a courteous gesture. He gave her a courteous gesture. Now, those were just some of the most commonly mispronounced English words among Filipinos, and I believe that there are some more. If you happen to know a commonly mispronounced English word, then feel free to put it in the comment section down below. Again, English is our second language and we are and will always be bound to commit lapses in pronunciation, especially if we come across new words. But what's important is we learn from those mistakes and try to get better at those things that we're not yet good at. Once again, this is Gion and to get an update on our next episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks!